hello everyone in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add and delete data from your data set so I have created a sample data set here so let me print it so my data set is having four attributes English math science and roll number now in order to add a new column what we need to do we need to use our data frame object then we need to specify the new column name so let's say I'm going for total and then you have to specify the values so if you can see here we are having here five records so either you can go for a list let's say I'm assigning a random total so the first record will get 12 then second will get 23 and so on so let me print it again so if you can see here uh, we have successfully added a new attribute in the data set now the thing is that uh, what we want we want this attribute as the total of the marks so what you can do instead of uh, taking this list you can write here the column name then plus plus So now if you can see this attribute is having the total marks a student got. So uh, this is the way you can add new column. Now in, a, in, a, in order to delete any column from this data set we are going to use a function drop. So df drop. So first of all we need to specify which column we want to delete. So let's say we are going for total then we need to specify axis now if you are going to delete a row this axis will be 0 so axis 0 represent the site and if you are going for column so here we need to specify 1 so axis 1 represent this site so we are going for column deletion so here we are going to write 1 now the thing is that when you apply this function this function will drop this column and return the updated data set now, now you need to remember this this function this particular function will not update your original data set okay so if you will print your data set we are still having total attribute in the, the data set so if you want that this updation should be carried out in the original data set what you can do you can write here in place true so when you write in place true it means the changes will be applied to the original data set okay now the total attribute is gone if you want to delete more than one attribute you can write here English maths okay now let's say uh, now we want to delete row so we are going to use the same function now this time we are going to delete it by using label okay whenever you want to delete a row you have to use the corresponding label so let's say I want to delete first row so label for first row is 0 0 and axis will be 0 because we are going for row deletion and we want to update original data sets so we are going to write in place true so let's print it so we have successfully deleted a row now if you want to add a new row in this data set we are going to use the function loc you need to write here label and then we will write here data so currently we are having only two attributes in the data set science and row number let's print it again So we have added a new row over here. Now uh, in next tutorial I am going to discuss this function loc and one more function iloc. These two functions are actually used for accessing data from data frame. Okay, they, they are actually used for indexing and slicing. So we will see these functions in detail in the next tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.